Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're going to walk through today uploading your EDM data that we did in our previous video with the schema and cleanup exercise. Now we're gonna take that and we're gonna upload it into the Office 365 solution. I'm gonna show you all the steps needed to set up your user accounts, set up your server uh, for hashing and uploading that data into M365. So with that being said, let's get into it and we'll start uh, setting this solution up. All right, welcome everybody. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is the guide that we're gonna be using to create the accounts, set up the server, and upload and hash the data. So here we go. Um, first step that we wanna do is we need to cut, set up a custom security group and a user account. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick in Azure Active Directory. Uh, and we're gonna go to new, new users and we're gonna just create a standard service account, EDM. Upload, we'll call this a user one. One, and go ahead and it creates. Next step, we need to create a group for this. And in this case, it is a very specific group that you have to create. So let's scroll down and we're gonna copy this name uh, in here. And it does need to be a security group that we create. So we're gonna go back into here under Azure Active Directory, groups, and we'll call this EDM uploaders. Of course, security group is selected. And assign membership, yes. And then we are going to do members. And uh, we're gonna search for our service account that we did. I have two in here because I was doing it before. So I'm gonna use this EDM uploader one and go ahead and hit select and create. Now, while this is baking, now we can start setting up our server. And we're gonna go ahead and pivot over to on-prem and our server environment. Next step is setting up our machine with this. And you'll see here the .NET 4.62 version and for running the EDM upload agent. What you're gonna need on this server is the uh, upload agent. So if you click on this, it'll take you down to the commercial GCCS version. And that's what we're doing over here. So here I am on my server and I have just gone in and downloaded the EDM upload agent to this environment. And we need to go ahead and install it. You'll do notice that you didn't need to check that uh, EDM version. Um, if you if you haven't done that before, we can go ahead and uh, check that in our environment. So let's go ahead and run this check code. And we have 4.7, so 4.6 is required, we're well above. Next, let's go ahead and install the EDM upload agent. So here we go. We're gonna put this on our server and run away with the install. Notice here the file path that's in here, and we're gonna need to sign in. So I'm gonna use that server EDM piece. And we're gonna go ahead and set up the install package for this. Okay, now that we're uploaded, we're gonna go ahead and make a new PowerShell script so we can do the the setup components. So we're gonna call this uh, EDM setup. Okay, so there we are now set here and we'll walk through the rest of this components for us. So we have a working directory. In my case, it's just gonna be the C drive and then this EDM folder. I have my sample data set in here that is the one that we worked on in the previous video. So it's all set up for our, our custom. Again, this data is from dlptest.com. So if you haven't watched this, you can grab this data from that other video and watch through the setup process of it. All right, so we need to go ahead and now authorize this account. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And I'm, I like to, I always like to work in ISE for PowerShell, um, just because I like to be consistent uh, and be able to reproduce this if I need to set it up on a different server. So let's go ahead and run this authorize command. Oh, forgot, didn't write, go to the right folder for this. So we're gonna go to CD. Um, uh, and this is the, ch -ch -ch -ch. let's go find the install path that it went to. Oh. 
And there it is. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this file and we'll change our working directory to match. Lost the double quotes. Run just that command and we'll switch the directory we're in. And uh, now let's go ahead and run that EDM upload agent. Oh, I forgot to do a dot. And we'll run that. So what this is going to do here is that this is going to set up this server with an authorization token so that we can continuously run with this account to do our uploads. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sign in. You'll never need to sign in again after this with this account. You just need to do this on the setup process. After that, it's gonna go ahead and keep this uh, consistent and reuse this same authorization token. Okay, so we're set there. Next step in the process is let's pivot over to doing the upload here. So once we're signed in, um, we have to download and save this file, the schema file. So depending on how you set it up, this might not be a necessary step, but for most of your environment, especially if you're doing the, the new wizard, you're gonna need to actually save a copy of this, uh, of your schema so that we can then use it for our uploads. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that again. And again, I'm gonna put it into this. Uh, the data store name in this case is going to be from our compliance admin center. So we're going to go ahead and grab that one and data classifications, EDM classifiers. I'm going to turn off this new experience. And here is that DLP test schema that we used previously. So we're going to put that in here. Where do we want to save this schema file? Well, in my case, I am uh, I have this entire working directory here, so I'm going to have it output that file into this location. And I'm going to use double quotes. And let's go ahead and run that line. I probably should make this bigger so it's easier for you all to read, huh? That would make a lot of sense. All right, so go ahead and run that command right there. Okay, and there you can see it generated our schema, our XML for our schema. And let's go ahead and uh, open that up real quick in Notepad. And just like we saw before, exactly the same schema, it just went and downloaded a new copy of it, and that's what we're gonna use for our uploading. Okay, next step, let's go ahead and do a test upload of our file. So in this case, I'm gonna just copy this and we'll go ahead and walk through this with this as a kind of a one-time script. Again, slash EDM, upload data score. All right, here it is. Data file, uh, and that's gonna be our, uh, yep. Uh, so that's gonna be our, our file that we created, our, our actual data set. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that. So that is that piece there. Hash location, where do we want it to save the file? In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and save it into the same directory, but I'm gonna create a hash folder. Where is the schema uh, environment? In this case, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab that path again. So you, you get, if you hold on control shift, you get the copy as path option. And so that's, that's what I'm doing there, uh, just cause it's easier. Column separator, uh, we don't need that, I believe, because we are not gonna be using uh, any tab separated values. So that's only gonna be needed if we were, uh, uh, doing a, um, a, uh, uh, <laughs> if we had a TSV file, so we're going to go ahead and delete that and then allowed bad percentage. Um, we're going to say 5%, um, 
Actually, I'm not gonna allow any bad percentage. So this is an option for you. If your data isn't clean, you can come in and set up a allowed bad percentage of saying, hey, yeah, I know maybe 10% of my data doesn't match the correct format for upload. Upload it regardless, and then we'll come back and fix it. But if it's over 10%, then fail it out. So um, I think that's good for now. Let's go ahead and run this command and we'll see how that works. See if we get any errors. And we gotta give it a little bit of a delay. And we're set. So that now is the code that we're gonna need. So we went through the authorized save schema. Uh, we have it all set up and this is gonna be our setup file. Now, if you are running this and uh, the, the file is taking a long time to upload and hash, that can be expected. Uh, it, it can be a, if you have a large data set, um, I think I did 10,000 rows the other day and it took about 15 minutes to run the process. And so just know that it can be expected if you are doing a lot of uploading, it can take a while. If you are concerned, you wanna check on the process of the file, you can actually run this EDM upload agent get session data and it'll tell you about the status of the deployment and how you can, you know, kind of kind of where things are at. And it'll let you know like, oh yes, this has completed successfully uh, and all that kind of you know, information about the data. So that, that's kind of that component. Next step in this is really, um, integrating these commands into a scheduled task uh, for your upload. So um, let's go ahead and walk through that process of, you know, actually scheduling this to be a recurring style thing. So um, we're gonna call this file EDM. Uh, actually, we're gonna take this same authorization that we did and we'll actually save this as a command that we're going to just run on a scheduled task you don't have to obviously do this as a scheduled task if your database team is going to be responsible for uploading this data into the thing uh into the microsoft solution they just need to run this at the end of their etl right wherever they're dumping that csv you can just have them you know at the end of their uh sql package export the data if they're doing Python, all they need to do is just run this one line that we worked on and, and they should be good. This should reoccur, uh, continuously upload those files. Um, some limitations though that are gonna happen in this is that you do, I think Microsoft only allows two times upload per day of this schema. So, you know, just go into it knowing that, that there are some limits like that. You just can't be uploading this data 10 times a day or something like that um, for this. So as long as you know that, you should be pretty good. Um, talk to your uh, database team, or if you are the database team, you know, you can either just run this at the end of the aligned or in my case, I'm just gonna set this up. Like my, my database team usually just dumps the file I need into a, a network share. Um, and so I'm just gonna set this up on this server to run it once a day um, and just continuously upload the same file. So to do that, I'm gonna save this as its own file. So uh, EDM underscore upload. We're gonna save that. I took the exact same file that we did here and let's just set it as a scheduled task. So let's go into here, scheduled task. And we're gonna create a task real quick to run this. So uh, EDM upload. Um, I'm gonna run this whether the user is uh, logged in or not. Uh, triggers, we're gonna go ahead and set this to just run on a schedule one time every day and just like that uh, uh 12 5 that's fine what actions are it going to take well we're going to run a start a program in this case the program we're going to run is powershell and uh, i believe the file is the Uh, hold on, I'm gonna pull up a previous job that I had done on this same one. Give me one second while I pull that up. Yeah, dash file. So that's gonna be the command that we're gonna run on PowerShell and then the file path. So let's go over to our new demo and we'll go ahead and put this in, file, grab our file that we wanna upload. 
Again, control shift, copy as a path. Make sure it's in double quotes. And we're set. So now we are um, officially ready to go. This is gonna go in and run this command every day. Gotta, of course, save our password. Otherwise, it won't run when the end user is not logged in. And boom, we are set. If you need to adjust this, if you know the file changes and it's now being put into a new location for this data file, you know, for if it's a network share, you just need to adjust that command there and then you should be good to go. So if you would like to get alerting on success and failures of this, you can actually do that with the solution. Again, you're, you're, yes, you can set it up at the scheduled task to get an alert if the task failed or something happened on the server. And I would definitely recommend coming into this and setting up, you know, an action or getting, you know, an email or some run, a, run some other trigger to, to have it come in. Maybe you're going to adjust the PowerShell and just have it trigger and do something more complicated than just the, the run command. But what I would also recommend is actually using the Compliance Center audit logs and getting alerts on that. So to do that, what we can do is every one of these steps in the process of this EDM is actually stored in your audit logs. And so if we pull up the classic search in here, we actually can come into this and search for EDM in this case. maybe we can search for EDM. So EDM completed and failed. Those are the two activity types that I would recommend setting up an alert for from the compliance center. So um, this will let you know if the Microsoft solution is successfully ingesting it when the file is run. So um, especially that failed one, that'd be the one I would definitely recommend, you know, setting an alert for, you know, that way you get ahead of any issues that you're having with the, the uploader or a change in your data set. Um, if these uh, policies aren't showing in, like if you immediately come into the solution and you, you, you hit the upload and then you run the command, just know that this can take a while for it to show up in our you know, solution before Microsoft is appearing in the audit logs. Um, so just give it some time to come through and do that. Here you can see uh, in this audit, yes, we were successfully able to upload the data. If you hear, see it here, record type 109, that's great. We're getting all of that kind of content uploaded in and we'll see a lot of that data pieces in here. Uh, if you want to set up an alert for it, you can go into your uh, alert policy and create it mainly in the, the GUI. Otherwise, um, you can use PowerShell to do this. I have this pre-plumbed under uh, in my GitHub. I'll put a link to kind of this alert, but it's just really alerting on upload data completed or upload data failed. And that's the activity that we're going to target and, you know, just put yourself as an email, get an alert when it comes through. So again, I hope this helps someone out there get started with this and walk through the solution. Not terribly complicated. Um, a lot of the, the, the hard part is, of course, going to be the data cleanup and getting your data. But once you have access to it, once it's routinely being dumped into a, a location that you can take advantage of, hashing and uploading is a pretty simple process. Um, hope this helps. Um, in the next video we're going to do is we're going to build the EDM sensitive information types. And uh, that may be a little bit more of a difficult process, uh, but we're going to walk through it um, pretty quick in our next video. And uh, hopefully you'll be fully set up after that one to use EDM with Microsoft 365. Uh, have a good one. Bye.